When I met her, she was just... Writing about love, travel and his experiences along the way has earned John Smith a fan base in the UK and beyond. And he spends a quarter of his touring time in mainland Europe every year. Like many artists who live in the EU, he's been able to work without a visa. And what life will be like in the future is unclear. You can organise a tour, Brussels, Amsterdam, Cologne, day off, Berlin, day off, Copenhagen, day off, Oslo. And you can do it all on the train. So if it gets really expensive to tour Europe for little financial gain, then it's, it could be a tough choice, I think, for people at my level. British artists have benefited from decades of being allowed to work freely in the EU and sell their merchandise at no extra cost. It is a reciprocal arrangement. Leaving the EU means that will end unless future negotiations allow it. UK music and the artists it produces has always been central to the global music industry and it's highly valuable too, worth an estimated $6.7 billion to the UK economy. Most musicians work on a freelance basis, don't earn big money and some play in different orchestras, so go back and forth to Europe every week. So the Musicians' Union, which represents more than 32,000 artists, is pressing the UK government to ensure that members can still thrive in a post-Brexit world. Paul Draper had big success in the 90s with his band Manson and now works as a solo artist and producer. When I go on tour, we would try to do an exclusive vinyl for the fans to buy. And we can just take that round Europe, no problem. But when we tried to take it to China, we couldn't get it in the country because we didn't have a trade deal. Um, so things are going to change. And whatever that trade deal is, it's not going to be as good a terms as we've got already. The UK government told us it is holding talks with the creative industry. And it said, our world-class orchestras and musicians make an invaluable contribution to the UK's cultural offer and reputation around the world. We are continuing to work closely with the sector to ensure the needs of musicians are considered as part of our preparations for leaving the EU. You're the one whose affection I still crave. Many artists will tell you that the power of music is that it has no borders, no flags, that it's all about bringing people together. But that could be harder now for some of Europe's musicians. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera, the south of England.